Hey guys, how are you all? I hope uh, you are all doing well. Today I'm gonna show you uh, a simple trick uh, of uh, to get rid of a uh, serious problem on FIFA 23 actually. So as uh, you have, you guys already know that FIFA 23 is not a new game actually. Uh, it released uh, uh, in 2022 actually, and uh, some, uh, most of the players uh, faced this issue uh, while uh, they were uh, trying to play in uh, PC actually. Okay, so uh, I recently purchased the game and uh, I have also faced the issue and I have searched everywhere in online. Uh, I have uh, watched some videos and also tips and tricks and also even EF, uh, EF forum a forum of FIFA 23 but I uh, I have tried many methods to get rid of this problem but uh, nothing actually worked but at last I, I have found a solution of this problem so let's get, get started so the problem is uh, when I try to uh, open my FIFA, 20, FIFA 23 from origin or EA actually Okay, let's see what happens yeah the anti cheat uh, you, you guys already know uh, there is a new thing uh, with EA they uh, introduced EA anti cheat and uh, for FIFA 23 you have to install it uh, in your PC and it is uh, starting now okay at this point it looks uh, it is starting uh, quite perfectly yeah but this is the issue uh, you guys can see uh, it uh, started the game and <coughs> there is a uh, uh, notification uh, which is called security violation and they said EA anti-cheat has detected an unexpected configuration is ensured no cheat related or tempering software is active uh, is active and restart the game and error code is 117 uh, yeah you guys uh, may may not believe but uh, I searched uh, everywhere for uh, the solution for the real solution and I have also tried many methods just like uh, the mm, EA app run into in and ad administer administrator uh, administration and the FIFA 23 uh, uh, running into administration and the other thing uh, the turning of the antivirus uh, and also so other thing but uh, nothing actually worked uh, and I uh, I was uh, fed up actually uh, when I bought this game, but uh, I could not play this game actually uh, for this problem. The, and the, so the solution is pretty simple. The problem is big. The solution is pretty simple. Uh, at last, I have found the solution. Uh, let me share with you guys. You have to go to your task manager at first, and then uh, in the left side, you can see the services. If uh, you are using Windows 10, uh, this listed. Uh, this UI may be different actually but you have to go to the uh, task manager and then uh, find the services and here you have to search uh, the one service which is called event log okay here this one so this is actually causing the problem with EA entity okay uh, the, uh, this uh, service is actually uh, the, this is the reason of the problem actually it uh, conflict with the EA anti cheat and EA anti cheat uh, identify uh, this service as a uh, anti cheat uh, as a cheat software actually as a cheat software or service so uh, here is the thing you have to just uh, just select this thing and hit the stop from here okay so this thing is stopped but uh, you have to keep it uh, keep it in your mind that uh, this thing uh, uh, will not remain stopped uh, whenever you restart your system or 
uh, turn off your system and again turn on uh, then uh, the this event lock feature event lock service will turn on uh, automatically uh, it will uh, again show uh, it will again uh, running uh, automatically so you have to uh, stop this uh, option or you have to check this uh, service uh, if it is stopped or running before opening the game every time so that is the thing actually you have to uh, do this thing but uh, rather not uh, playing the game actually it is uh, pretty much easier i think so you have to just uh, make it stop and let's see what happens now okay it is launching the game yeah yeah and it is opening Now you guys can see the game is opening perfectly. I will also uh, show you the game menu. 